Hey Internet, this is Big Al over here at Paler. Uh, let me show you how to use the um, offset command. Let's take a look right over here. This is the icon for the offset command right here. Okay, now to use it, let's, um, let's do what we usually do. Let's set up a workspace. Okay, so let's just type down here in the you know, REC for rectangle and then go 0, 0, enter 11, uh, 8.5. So that gives us an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Okay, now with that, let's go up and zoom, click and hold the left button and go down and zoom it. There's our 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper which is where we're going to start. You can set it up to anything that you want. I'm going to pick up a circle. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the center. I'm going to release my hand from the mouse and just move the mouse so I'm not holding anything at all. I'm going to go D for diameter and I'm going to go 2. So there's a 2 inch diameter circle. Okay, now the problem here is how do you make a line parallel, if you will, to the circumference? Or how do you make a concentric circle either bigger or smaller than two inches? Well, you can go through this whole thing here and, and lay it out all again. Or you can go to the offset command. Ta-da! Left click. Okay, now you're in the offset command. Okay. Uh, say um, let's say we want to go 0.25 okay uh, yeah let's go yeah okay 0.25 we go 0.25 okay enter so we got 0.25 loaded up there see it right here load it in now we go up we click it and if we want it bigger we go to the outside and click or we go back and click the original line if we want it smaller we go to the inside and click that's how neat the offset command is. Yes, it works with everything else, but on curves and stuff like that, it works especially well, as, you know, really well with circles and ellipses, so on and so forth, okay? So now you know.